Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I am going to do a really quick uh, haul here. Um, I went into King Supers to get a couple of things. I went in for coffee creamer. I went to the gym and then I went in for coffee creamer. And um, before I jump into that though, there's just one thing I need to do. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. I, will, I uh, really, really do appreciate it. I hope that you will subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. And that's for yesterday. My video yesterday had no ending. <laughs> And I didn't notice it till I was editing. So, so that's for yesterday. Now, let's jump into today's video. So, uh, I am um, going to just share my quick haul with you. I went into King's to get creamer. I was, well, I'm down to just like a quarter of a bottle of my creamer. And I'm not going to show you all three bottles that I bought. Um, they had three, and I bought three, and I feel really, really bad about that. If somebody would have come up to me and said, hey lady, you bought the last three bottles of the creamer, honestly, I probably would have given them one just because I, I would feel bad. But you know what? They had more in the back, so I'm not gonna worry about it. They had plenty of creamer. They just didn't have this particular one. It's a sugar-free uh, Italian, uh, coffee-made Italian sweet cream. I love this stuff. If you guys follow my blog, you know I love this stuff. And I, I went, ran out of it during the whole, like last year during um, the COVID thing when the shelves were sort of running low on stock, you know, the stores were low on stock. I uh, ran out and I tried all these different things and I just could not find a, a happy substitute and I vowed I will never run out again. If I do run out, I'll deal with it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. There are much worse things can happen, but I'm not going to run out if I can help it. All right, then I picked up some of this kind breakfast honey note, uh, honey oat. Um, now this is, there's five in here. Uh, this is Sustain Energy from 100% whole grains, 28 grams per serving of whole grains. It's gluten-free. And it's, uh, now the oats, it's millet, buckwheat, uh, amaranth, and quinda. Quinda. I don't know what that is. But um, I'm going to give this a try for breakfast one morning. I do have my yogurt uh, in the morning, and um, especially when I'm working out, you know, I liked my protein, but you know, there's times when I would just, I, I need to get the grains as well, the whole grains, the complex grains, not the, not the simple starches. I don't want the, like the simple sugars and starches. Um, I'm trying to cut back on those. So now I picked up because they're running low on Roscoe's treats at the store. So I picked up this milk bone chunks. Um, this has biscuit baked with turkey and bacon. I don't know if he's going to like this. He's very picky. I've never given these to him before, but just as a backup to have something for him. Uh, my friend Lori uh, from Lori F, let's see, Lori F in L, Lifestyle. F, no, F N M, Lifestyle. Yes, Fluffy No Mo. <laughs> F N M Lifestyle. She um, does Chewy because she switched to Chewy because she had trouble finding her the, the her doggies. Winston is her dog. Her dog's uh, bones. So she switched to Chewy's, and I keep meaning to, to go over there and, and check that out. So if I do, I am going to go and make sure she has if she has a link. I'm going to uh, click on it <laughs> and check out some doggy bones because I'm really having trouble finding his dream bones. But I'm going to give these a try uh, since I'm here at the store and they had them and they weren't too expensive. I bought some butter, and I just bought the half sticks uh, of the Land O'Lakes butter. I'm gonna make some zucchini bread. We have some great squash from our garden. I've been wanting to show you guys that too. Uh, this gal who said I didn't have a green thumb, it turns out I have a light green thumb, you know, because my, my vegetable garden's thriving, my flowers are looking good. So apparently I am learning new things about me that I didn't even know, even after I turned over 50, I'm still learning. Uh, that I there are things I'm good at that I didn't realize I was good at. It's just that I didn't focus my energy there, so I didn't know. Uh, but this Lando like uh, Lando Lando Lakes butter, we like this, and it's a uh, the half sticks because since it's John and me, most of the time, um, you know, it's just it's a quarter of a cup instead of always having a half a cup that I have to open. I don't know, it just made sense to me. So all right, then they had these on sale, and they were four for five dollars. These are the Power Crunch protein energy bars. They were four for five dollars. I don't know that I've ever had these. If I have, it's been a while. I'm always looking for something I can keep in my gym bag or my purse, so I just don't go and get tempted to grab some sugary snack 
for the, cause I'm desperate for the carb fix, you know, uh, I get hangry if I don't get enough, uh, mix the carb and the protein. I get really hangry, poor Dawn. So I always have a snack on hand, you know? So, uh, now this is the power crunch, power crunch, protein energy bar, 13 grams of protein, seven grams of sugar. And, um, now this does have 220 calories. So now I would eat this after a workout. If I was just going to eat it as a snack on a non-workout time, I would probably break this in half, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. I bought, so they're four for five dollars. I bought a uh, lemon meringue, a triple chocolate, and then because I love peanut butter and chocolate, I bought two of the, oh no, I bought a red, oh, I thought I bought two. I bought a red velvet, a red velvet and a peanut butter fudge. I was going to buy a second peanut butter fudge, but because I thought they were five for five dollars, but since it was only it was four for five dollars, I had to put the fifth one back, right? Because they were on sale. <laughs> so, um, so I got those, and um, and then because honest to goodness, they have these next to to these, just a couple boxes down, and the name got my attention, and I thought I don't know anything about these. I don't know anything about the macros. Uh, at all, but the name got my attention. They sounded like fun. They're 170 calories. They are, um, let's see, two grams of protein, 10 grams of total sugars. Added sugars are 18%. So, okay. So these are not great. I mean, they don't have the protein but they do have some whole grains and I got them because they're called Bobo's. Bobo's and they had them in different flavors. They were on sale for I think $1.49. So I thought I'm gonna try it and it's the peach flavor and I never see peach flavor anything like this. So I love peach pie and I thought this might be an alternative when I'm really wanting like a sweet treat. You guys know I'm trying to cut back on all that stuff. So I got those. So I'm gonna do this real quick though, since it's after a workout, I'm very hungry, uh, I'm hangry. Uh, I'm gonna try a power. I like doing these little quick little reviews and I just try something. And none of my videos are sponsored. So up till this point in my my channel, my YouTube life, I've never been sponsored. Uh, I've, I've been asked to review a couple of things um, and I've always said no because I'm just not that big of a channel and I don't want to get caught up in all of that stuff right now. I just, I try things. If I like them, I tell you I like them. And if I don't like them, I tell you I don't like them. But um, yeah, I don't do this because I'm being sponsored. I do this because I am honestly on the hunt to replace some of my own non-healthy habits with healthier habits, including what I choose to eat. And really, if you want to be healthy, it's the small choices that you make every single day that's going to help you to be healthy. It's just not something you do once in a while. And one of the things I do is I grab sugary snacks when I'm stressed, when we're celebrating, I'm an emotional eater. I grab sugary snacks without thinking, which is what gets me in trouble. So I have to plan ahead and have alternatives on hand. That means keeping something in my purse, keeping things at home that I know are, I'm, I can eat and I'm not going to sabotage my goals. So um, this is the Power Crunch Lemon Meringue. It just sounded good. So I'm going to give it a shot and I will tell you guys what I think. I did try um, the one bar, the one protein bar the other day from the, uh, the glazed maple donut. And I want you guys to tell, I mean, I just really, I still, I couldn't find any. I looked at the store today at King Supers, didn't see any. I might have to just go back to Dick's Sporting Goods to see if I can find them. Those were so good. Seriously, I will buy those again. I am not just saying that. Sometimes I watch my video when I'm editing and I think, gosh, it looks like I'm doing a commercial. I am not. I genuinely tell you guys what I think. So um, I'm gonna give this lemon meringue uh, power crunch a try. Mm. Okay, that's good. <laughs> mm. That's good. That's like candy. Candy with at least some uh, some substance, nutrition. Why not? If you're going to eat something sweet, why not have something that's actually good for you and that's actually nurturing you and helping you to stay healthy? So rather than just empty calories. Oh, this is seriously good. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if it's because I have been eating way too much sugar lately and I'm just my brain is just responding to that and it's happy but this is good it's very very sweet very crunchy crunchy and lemony it reminds me of I mean the texture is a little different but of a, like a, a slice of lemon meringue pie that's what it tastes like I'm just gonna eat half of this so it's not a lot of uh, calories but I'm getting some extra protein, which when I'm working out in the gym, I do, you know, we do need extra protein, ladies and gentlemen, when you're over 50, when you're my age, you know, you do need to make sure you get enough protein in your diet if you are working out and you're active. So, mm. oh, that's good. So. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's my haul, y'all. That was really, really good. I will definitely have that again. Um, I've still been drinking these plus alkaline waters that I uh, hauled from Sam's Club before I went to, on our big camping trip. I'm still drinking these, and I take them to the gym, and I fill them back up with water. But I like them because they're, you know, they have the alkaline, um, their pH balance. They're 9.5 plus pH level purified water with electrolytes. So I love taking this to the gym and as well as camping. So those are getting used. Everything I haul pretty much is being used. I'm trying to be a little more conscious and aware of sharing those things with you that I buy and why I buy them and come back and follow up. So um, that's my haul, y'all. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. If you have a question about anything I've tried and I, I haven't followed through, let me know in the comments. I do try to respond and do like, I've been, I've had a request to do a video at Save A Lot again and I did go back there and I did that video. I had a request to do Albertsons again. I did go back and go back to Albertsons. I pay attention to what you're asking. Now I did have a request to show next time I'm driving to show to rev up my Pathfinder. This is weird. I mean, I'm I don't I I really appreciate you asking, and I don't understand. You wanted me to show my foot. I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm wearing gym shoes, and you know it would be nice if I were dressed like in a black dress with dress shoes. I mean, it might look really cute, but I'm wearing I got big feet, eight and a half size, dirty gym shoes. I'm not going to show my foot on the pedal, but I'm going to rev up my car because somebody requested it. I don't know. I hope this isn't one of those weird fetish things. If it is, sorry about that to everybody else. Okay, let's see. How do I turn off my, get it quiet in here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to rev up my, nine, my 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. Oops, I pushed the wrong pedal. Alright guys, good thing I have over a quarter of a tank of gas. If Don watches this, he's going to say, don't be wasting your gas revving up your motor. But I had a request. So, I hope you guys heard that. I don't know if you did. I'll find out in editing. So, if you guys have a request, let me know. If I've hauled something and I haven't followed up, let me know. I really did not start my channel to do hauls. It's just that that's what I end up doing because I'm out and about living my life and I shop a lot because I'm the one that takes care of the house. <laughs> but I also declutter, I also organize. We do camping. Sometimes I share um, like the clothes that I've bought and I, I like sharing that stuff. Uh, on a budget, always on a budget. I use coupons, I use, I try to save money. I am not a big spender by any means. So most everything I buy is pretty practical and but I, I love chatting with you guys and taking you along on my journey as a, a midlife woman trying to surviving in America you know I think we're all doing that and, and the whole planet right now we're just all trying to get by with a little help from our friends so thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and clicking that notification bell do leave me a comment and come back and see me I'll see you on the next video Bye.